of the assistant right from volifier.com. Today I am going to show you an easy way or walk through how to create this beautiful uh, quote art. Uh, you can uh, create these uh, kind of artworks for a shop or maybe for a card for a friend. This is yeah, super fun, I promise you. You find that the clip part I'm using uh, in the description below and it's the fairy dream collection from my signature line so it's always available. So let's get into Photoshop. Just a quick disclaimer, you know, Photoshop is a fantastic photo editing software and you can do things like millions of ways. This is just a quick and easy way. I'm showing you here. As you get more comfy with the software, you can do this uh, a little bit more, more complicated and add more effects and stuff like that. But for this tutorial, I want to keep it super simple. So now, off to Photoshop. We start out by creating a new document. Uh, you go to create new. several options up here in the bar and as uh, we want to print this uh, card or quote art you choose the print option and now you can go down here to view more presets and select the preset you love Today I'm going to create a standard card for you and I don't find it here so I go over here in the right uh, pop, uh, side of the pop-up. So 5 inches and 7 inches high you see here in the orientation if you want it to stand like a portrait or landscape of the card and always choose the resolution to be 300 at least because when you print something you need this number to be quite high if you have it set at 72 uh, which is uh, for the online viewing only then your art will become blurry when you print it out. So be sure to check that this number is 300. And this is something fun because you have to uh, do a little research here. Because if you are going to print it at a uh, print shop, you have to investigate if they want uh, your your files to be in RGB color mode or CMYK color mode. Uh, where I live, the printers uh, usually want it in the RGB color mode, so I will stick to that for now. But be sure to check that before you create your file. You can always change the color mode later on, but the colors may be a little bit alterna alter altered uh, if you're doing so. So keep this in mind. And I will have a white background to keep this one simple. You can check this drop down box here and you can choose other other backgrounds as well as black, a different background color, transparent or custom. So I choose the white one and we will name this card. So let's create this one. And now we have our document have to apply the clip art and then we go to file up in the left corner beside the Photoshop uh, logo and we click 
click this part and we go down here and use place links and now you will search for your uh, desired clip art I'm using a clip art from the fairy dream pack and I'll be using this one so I just double click it and voila as you see uh, the artwork is not quite aligned with the outside of the artwork so we have to do something about this uh, the simplest thing to do here is to resize the art the clip art and you can do this by going to the upper corner and just hover over here and then you press the shift key this will restrain the artwork so the clip part don't like I will show you go all wobbly 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 here so just hold, press down the shift key and hover over the a corner and drag it be sure it's uh, centered and aligned you just click on the artwork and move it until the, you see the crosshairs and now I, now I think it looks uh, okay so I press all right and you find this up in the upper menu here have applied the clip part to your card and now it's time for the font or the text or quotes you can search for quotes on the net, internet or sentiments or write your own I googled uh, a quote for this card I'll be using a font for my quote that is called love you like a sister and this font is free and you can download it uh, from the Google font on um, Google fonts so I'll show you how to do this and in the search bar you write sister oh here we have it and then you press the plus sign here this is a library by the way that contains loads of free uh, fonts you can use so if you don't love this love you like a sister font you can always go and check for other ones but in this tutorial I'll be using love you like a sister to download this, you press the plus sign here and then you go down to the bar. Of course, I think when you use uh, different kinds of browsers, this uh, will look a little bit different, but uh, I use the Chrome here, the Chrome browser, so just so you know. And now I open it. I press the download button here the red one with the arrow and now you open it right click now it's in in Swedish I'm sorry but you have to extract it do you find it's extract files And you choose your desired folder for uh, your fonts and just extract and now you find uh, the file here and it's love you like a sister so you just double click this one and install now it says I already got this font on my computer which I have but you go on and click yes here too. now 
now you can close this window. Now you find, find your font in your font library in Photoshop. To add text to your design, you go to the big T uh, icon in the left side of your uh, panel. And you click, you click it uh, to activate it. Now you apply your text to your design. This is not in the middle. Then you, you go up here to the arrows pointing, and you can drag your quotes wherever you want it. To change the uh, size of the font, you can easily do so by hovering over the T sign at the top uh, menu of your Space. You see it here, the T, you hold in the uh, left uh, button, uh, mouse button and just drag to the left to, to decrease and to the right to increase. So play around with this feature, it's really fun and very helpful. When you find your perfect sizing, you just drop uh, it and Click OK. If you want to change, I forgot to say this, if you want to change the color of your text, then you hit the T, the text option here, and then you highlight. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Highlight uh, your text and you go to the color bar up here or the little the square and you press this one. Now you can choose whatever color you want and find fit for your uh, card. I will go for a black because I think that suits the clip art very well. So I press OK. And then, if you want to save your card on your computer, then you go to File, up in the left corner beside the uh, uh, Photoshop logo, uh, and you press Save. And then you can select uh, several options here, uh, file types. I will save it as a JPEG this time. Then you of course select the place you want to save this one. I will save it to, to the desk here. Please remember to always uh, save your designs as a PSD as well. Then you can go back and change the things. Uh, with a JPEG you know it's harder to do so. So always remember to uh, keep an uh, original uh, PSD file on your computer. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you are now ready to create some wonderful clip art, quote art. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions uh, or need some help, please leave, the comment, uh, leave a comment uh, below and I will be there to help you. And remember to sign up for my newsletter, you find the, all the links below and also join the Our Crafty Cafe Facebook group. So see you later and thank you again for joining me in this create along tutorial. Bye bye!